There's something else um, that I like to bring up about classical guitar, and that is the fact that they kind of have a little bit more strict rules than just general finger style guitar. Basically, each finger is a designated to a string. So it's kind of like a little army of fingers that each one has its job and takes care of that job and doesn't go outside of its job. Maybe they're on in a union or something. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, except for your thumb. Your thumb is able to play the bass strings. It kind of goes back and forth. And another thing I should add, I guess, again, I'm not a classical guitarist because I probably wouldn't be using a thumb pick. Just a thumb pick works good for me instead of my fingernail. I've tried using my fingernail before and it doesn't really work so good. And then the other concept is planting. So we're going to start with that planting thing. I'm going to bring your fingers down and so that your uh, ring finger is on the first string, your middle finger is on the second string, and your eye finger is on the third string. And I'm going to alternate my fingers around on the bass strings just so we can get used to that. So let's play a G chord. Let's arpeggiate a G chord. So planting is very important and the designation of fingers to their given strings will help keep you from playing the wrong string by mistake. Mm -hmm.